Okay, we are now recording. I hope. Um, yeah, welcome to the IPFS All Hands Call, April twenty seventh, two thousand twenty. Uh, today we are going to see a presentation from Bertie, uh, but first we have a couple of announcements. First up, um, we have an IPFS virtual launch meetup uh, Friday, uh, the first of May, um, at five p.m. UTC or ten a.m. PT. Uh, so yeah, if you want to come join us, uh, there is a uh, meetup listed in the um, uh, meeting notes. I can paste it in the Zoom chat as well. Let me just copy the link. Yeah. There we go. No, it's not happening in Barcelona, even though it's so. Uh, second of all, uh, there's an IPFS pinning summit. Uh, this is going to be happening uh, Thursday or, or through Friday, uh, May 7th through 8th, to discuss pinning services and pinning data on IPFS. Uh, if you want to attend that, please also register. The link will also be in chat, and it is also in the document. Hello, everyone. Hello. And is anybody willing to be our note taker for this week? Yes. See how long we can drag that out. Thank you. Otherwise, I end up doing it every single week. I know. I Thank you. Pay attention to the presentations. I'm too busy taking notes. I am not the fastest note taker, but I will do my best. Okay. Do we have a quorum of birdie people? Yep. Uh, I think so. Awesome. Okay, then I guess we can start the call officially. Well, we're already recording. Um, but again, welcome to the All Hands call, or like All Hands, uh, April 27th, 2020. Um, now we have Bertie. Uh, please take us off. Introduce yourself. And go ahead. Okay, uh, I will share my screen. I have some slide to present you. So, um, okay, this one. Okay, everyone can see it. Cool. So, um, I will present you uh, going by like the you got robot. Yeah, I think uh, turning off the camera might help. Okay. Um, okay. Is that better? Yeah, much better. 
Okay. Um, so um, there is three main components uh, in the mobile IPFS. Uh, all are available for both Android and iOS. So you have the core package, which is basically um, a Go IPFS um, package with bindings uh, compiled uh, as a library uh, with Go Mobile. So this part uh, just expose um, the relevant methods from Go IPFS to uh, uh, Java and uh, Swift. Then you have uh, the package uh, bridge, uh, which is um, like the glue uh, between core and the application. Uh, then you have uh, two demo applications, one for uh, iOS and the other one for Android, um, which uh, only display a random XKCD. So I will present you the different components. So let's start with the core package. Um, we will have a lot of uh, code <laughs> because uh, everything is uh, an API or something calling, a, calling, calling an API. So um, the method exposed by the core package to Java and Swift uh, are this one. So you have basically a method to create a node and uh, two methods to uh, serve um, or make the node listen uh, over TCP or a Unix domain socket, which is uh, much secure. Then you have a method to manage the, the repo. So in it, it set a config, get a config. Then you have method to access to the config objects uh, that can set key, get key, and so on. And we implemented a sub manager, um, uh, which uh, makes simpler um, the management of uh, Unix domain sockets because um, on Android and iOS, uh, on all platforms, uh, basically, you, the pass of the UDS is limited to 140 uh, character or something like that. So we made something to, to handle all the edge case and so on. And you have the shell. Um, so, Instead of um, implementing uh, all the method of uh, the core API, um, we preferred to just expose the HTTP, HTTP API and uh, use the request builder um, because it's a lot simpler to, to implement and um, all the method will uh, be supported um, no matter what updates are made on the core IPFS. So yeah, and uh, you can just um, bind uh, the package uh, like this. So on Android, you, you will have um, an Android archive. Um, so it's just uh, an Android uh, library. And on iOS, uh, the same thing uh, with uh, uh, a framework. And the roadmap for this part um, is to implement uh, input stream interfaces in Go. Um, that will be very useful to, to, to have a stream uh, when we send a request on the request builder instead of just returning a byte array. Uh, but it requires some work because uh, Go Mobile IPFS only uh, map the simple type. Uh, by default, so byte array, uh, boolean, uh, uh, string. So yeah, we 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 uh, right. Uh, we have to implement the lightness resolver because right now we, we are using a uh, logic to override uh, uh, the default DNS of and. Uh, it could be uh, really uh, um, better to, to just uh, bind, go to the native resolver interface of Android and iOS. And uh, we want to add uh, set stream handler and new stream uh, methods to, to be able to, 
just uh, dial up here and um, handle uh, an incoming connection. We also need to tune uh, the node config. Um, we have some problem, um, for example, on, on iOS, uh, we are limited with the maximum number of uh, open files. So yeah, we need to, to, to find a way to, to yeah, optimize the node config for, for mobile. Uh, then uh, we need to implement the direct transport. Um, so in the core, we will just have like uh, a lp 2 p transport that will be bind uh, to um, a native driver. Then we can talk about the bridge package. So yeah, same thing. You have uh, all the, um, uh, I have only um, uh, the Java uh, um, signature here, but uh, you have the constructor. Uh, you can choose uh, on which path uh, if you want to, to, to have your repo on the internal storage or external storage. Then you have method to start, stop the node. And you can uh, set the config, and finally you can start a request. So, yep. And uh, with a request builder, you can just um, so you have all the method uh, to to add an argument, an option, a body, or a header. Then you have a send option that just return a, a byte array, uh, and a send to JSON list, uh, which return a, an array of of JSON objects. Um, in Swift, it returned uh, a dict because it's more convenient in Swift. And um, I, uh, I need to implement the, the send that return uh, an input stream. OK, so a basic code example, when you import uh, the package in uh, Java, so you can just uh, create a new node, uh, set your custom config, start it. And uh, you can have a command using uh, the request builder, then stop your node. So it's really straightforward. To import it, you just have to, to, to add this line uh, in your um, uh, Gradle config uh, on Android. And uh, on iOS, uh, you just have to create a pod spec. Uh, and to run uh, pod install. Then you can start uh, using uh, Go Mobile IPFS. Um, you have both the documentation and the packages here. So the documentation is here. You have um, all the documentation of the package for iOS, for example, or for Android. Um, yep. And the packages, uh, the packages, sorry, for now are available on our uh, own uh, build tray repo. Um, we didn't uh, wait to create uh, an IPFS or protocol lab uh, repo, so we just uh, did it. And everything is available here. You have the um, all the package for Go Mobile IPFS for Android, and you have the demo application. OK. And yeah, the roadmap for the bridge package is to implement um, the IO read closer interface uh, to, to be able to, to do input stream in, in both directions. Uh, to implement the native driver, uh, which will be used uh, by the lp 2 p transport on the core package, uh, add helpers that get put files. Uh, uh, to implement native lifecycle management as a node because on mobile you have uh, you have like uh, notions of your app is in background, foreground. Um, if it's background for too many time, it will be killed. So you need to be able to restart the node and uh, init everything properly. So yeah, it will be. Um, a really big improvement to, to add the lifecycle management for the node. 
Uh, then uh, to implement a React Native package, uh, it's work in progress. Uh, right now, it's still frozen because um, we need to um, finish the uh, basic implementation of the bridge on both iOS and Android before starting to to implement the, the React Native package. But um, yeah, will come uh, soon. Then uh, we have the demo application, so it, it looks like this. Uh, you have, oh, sorry. Uh, do you see the, um, the preview for, for your cam or? Maybe I can, okay, it's better. Um, oh. Maybe I can just, okay. Um, so, yep, uh, the app is really basic <laughs> with uh, not so much uh, work on the UI, but uh, yeah, you you basically start a node and uh, you can fetch uh, random XKCD on IPFS. And uh, the roadmap is to improve the UI, add new features, uh, maybe put and get file, display more info, and create a React Native demo application. Uh, it could be a, a good idea uh, that the community uh, take care of uh, creating a, a good demo application because. Uh, yeah, it's time consuming, at, uh, but uh, yeah, it could be cool. And you can download there uh, the Android version and the iOS version if you want to test them. Um, if you are on iOS, you will need to accept the Berti Technologies uh, Enterprise uh, Certificate. So you have to go there in your settings then to click to trust that technology and you will uh, be able to launch the application and uh, that's it thank you thanks um i'm actually First, okay, well, I guess, first of all, let's open up to questions. Anyone have questions before I turn them? I'm not seeing any hands. Can you just speak out if you have a question? Okay. Not this, Johnny, how about, oh, yeah. this is Johnny. How about how well is Go Mobile being supported? I, I thought, I know it's built into Go, but it's, uh, I've been following it, and it doesn't seem as though it's really got a lot of uh, momentum. Um, yeah, it, it's still supported. Um, they are doing some improvements to um, like support Bitcode on iOS or things like that, um, uh, or support um, recently, like maybe two years ago, they, they added support for ARM64 on um, on Android and so on. So they still um, um, improve things uh, on GoMobile. Um, and uh, one of the good improvements uh, they could do is to, to, to add the possibility to statically uh, um, uh, compile a framework on iOS instead of uh, dynamic libraries uh, only. I guess I'm curious what, um, from more of kind of an application standpoint, um, what are the biggest use cases you see of this kind of like what's what's driving a lot of this IPFS and Bluetooth? In my mind, it's running with things, but I'm curious kind of what you guys are saying as well. Uh, one good case uh, could be to, um, I don't know, uh, facilitate the, um, networking mobile devices like uh, you know, if you want to have um, a companion application for your look uh, and your Android devices for instance uh, you could just um, uh, like uh, implement something uh, using uh, lp2p on your Mac and uh, implement an app using uh, GoMobile IPFS on your Android devices and uh, you will be able to just um, dial 
uh, the peer ID of your Mac uh, to do stuff uh, like, I don't know, uh, forward uh, SMS or, um, you know, that kind of thing that could be uh, really cool to, to be able to do that without uh, having uh, a central server just by, uh, yeah, dialing a, a peer ID. And uh, also, it could be cool to, to, to be able to fetch files, put files on IPFS using your mobile devices. Um, yeah, I don't know. There, there is a lot of use case for me that could be really, really cool. Thanks. This is Jay. Um, do you have any integration with SIP session initiation protocol? Um, no, uh, we don't have any right now. Um, yeah, basically, it's just um, uh, just like uh, for now, it's, it's just like a bridge to to go IPFS, and uh, you just have like a convenient, a convenient uh, wrapper around um, Go IPFS that's more uh, uh, Java or Swift friendly. And, um, and uh, you can interact with the node using uh, the core API and uh, that's it, the HTTP API actually. So yeah, right now we don't have an integration with SAP or something else. Stephen, you're muted. Okay, uh, that's it, I guess, for this meeting. Uh, we are out of time now. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the presentation. Thank you all for attending. Um, I am really looking forward, well, personally, to uh, the Bluetooth or the BLE transport. I think this would be awesome if I can have like IPFS from phone to phone directly next to each other. Um, that's just my personal take on things. Um, uh, so awesome to hear from you all. See you next week. See you. Bye.